Where are you off to? Stay away, stay, stay from me. Stay away, stay away from me. Are you back again? Who are you? Are you? Are you? I can feel you, but I can't hear you. Please speak again. Who are you? I'm a guide, little lady, just a guide. I can feel you're scared. Heaven knows I'd be. Where am I? You don't know your surroundings either. You're in my humble home. You're welcome. What? Why? 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 What? You can still hear me. Welcome to my house. I will not harm you, nor will any of my other guests. Everything is okay. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because you don't know where you are. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So what? So what? So what if I don't know where I am? Who is that? Who is that? Ooh, her. Just ignore her. She's jealous because we have no guests. I don't know what's happening. What's going on? Why am I here? I know you're scared. Please relax. Try to stay with me. Don't go. I won't harm you. Who is that? Why is she laughing? Please, calm down. She can't hurt you. You came to me this time, child. Let me go. I want out of here. You can leave whenever you want. But you won't like it much when you do. Go away. I want out. What the hell is going on? Come on now, that's the third time this week. dropped everything to not answer this call and are waiting for me to leave the voicemail. Maybe not. Maybe this isn't even your number anymore. I don't know. Anyway, I'm in town. I can't not think of you when I'm in town. 
I was just thinking maybe you would like to meet up and we could talk. Over drinks, maybe? Call me back. I miss you. Believe it or not. God damn it, Harvey woman. Fuck. Always gotta be on your terms, right? You did good, Raul. You did good. Robert, Rita. Hello, Raul. How are we doing today? Things have been much better since you last came. That's great. In the dreams? No more nightmares either. No more activities, right? That's right. Whatever you did last time really took. Is there something wrong? Nothing at all. I'm just not convinced we're out of the park yet. I think I'll save the place one more time. Well, I mean, what do you have in mind? You know, just let's just give it a little more time. Nothing turns out great, but let's just give it a little more time. Well, you're the expert. Whatever you think is best. Robert's house issue is all ongoing. Staging removed the miasma effect, allowing me to find the source. Located probably in the attic or stashed between the walls. Uh, yeah, take some creative construction to find it. They're going on vacation in a couple of weeks. I'll do it then. God damn it! I, I told you not to follow me to work. Find it sleeping in its nest before it wakes up. Touch it gently and you want it feeling completely calm So you can hold it in your palm And help it grow just like it was born to be Come, 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 come Whoa, 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 whoa. In arts. Two of clubs. Five of clubs. Five of diamonds. Now, look at that. Next, I got one right. Six of spades, jack of clubs, nine of diamonds, three of hearts. Get decent, dear. We have company. 
It's open. Hello. There he is. Raul. Has it been a month already? No, still two weeks. Well, you old son of a bitch, how are we doing today? Are you working on a project of some sort? Not mine. Sit down, stay a spell. Come on in, don't leave me hanging. Sorry. Just making observations. Well, make them internally. Take your coat off and make notes when you get back to your car. And talk about upping my dose or whatever it is you want to talk about. Understood. So, what do you want to talk about today? What would you like to talk about today? I don't rightly know. I wasn't expecting company, so I'm not at my sharpest. Well, what's going on in your life these days? What were you thinking about when I arrived? The very second, I don't know. Probably something to do with the hypocrisy of Western culture and how it structures families. Half measures, rights of breeding, fascism, things like that. Rights of breeding? Well, you asked. I'd like you to talk about that a little bit more, if you don't mind. What's to elaborate on? It's fascist to structure it in any way unnaturally. It's a big fuck you to people who are different and the half measure on its best day to the rest of us. You're being esoteric. Can you give me a concrete example? Sure. Why not? I got nowhere to be right now. Right. Should people be allowed to breed? You want this to be a dialogue? Always. Isn't that all of life? All right. I'd say I prefer some the opportunity rather than others, but okay. Should people be allowed to breed? Yeah. You take two healthy young people of age who fancy one another and have the privacy. Should they be allowed if they want to? Why not? Sick bastard. The brother and sister. Well, then no. Well, why not? It's illegal. It's immoral. There really have been countless studies on this. Specifically, why not? Like you said earlier, just give me a concrete example. Because it produces children with elevated levels of illness, depleted mental activity, sets them up for a lifetime of hardship and difficulty and failure, and statistically speaking, are more likely to commit crimes and lower the standard of living for all those around them. It's not because God said no. No, and the reason it was written into the Bible was the same pragmatic reason, because it produces an inferior future generation of people. So, it's all about producing the most viable offspring, yes? I would say so. You would say so or yes? Yes, that is the reason. And you agree with it? Yes, I think the law is appropriate, as it is not fair to the child or to the taxpayer paying for the child's lifetime of medical and quality of life issues. Good. Now let's take another couple. One is legally blind, one is legally deaf. They both have nervous system issues. They're in their late 40s and they're sporting a heroin addiction, but they're not related. Should they be allowed to breed? I see. Answer the question, please. Uh, they're not related, so there should be no issues here, right? I mean, statistically speaking, there's a 75% chance that the child will be born with some disorder that will cripple it for life. The parents are in their 40s, so the chance of birth defects will be acutely amplified. And let's not forget, the child will be born with at least one addiction. People making those kinds of life choices shouldn't have children. We're not talking morality here, Doc. And that's not a call for you to make. It is their legal right. But do they deserve the right? The brother and sister that wanted to pop out a baby are perfectly healthy, but the law says it's inhumane. But the drug addicts that will give birth to a vegetable and leave it in a dumpster somewhere, perfectly fine. Abandoning your child is not legal or fine in any way. You said earlier that it wasn't fair to a child when relatives hook up. So is it fair for troglodytes to mate? And let's say the government did start making restrictions on the breeding habits of strangers specific to genetic imperfections. Where do they draw the line at what specific defect they're going to restrict? Brother and sister are smart, young, and without genetic issue. No dice, no siree. Where is the quality of life for the child that's born deaf, blind, heart issues, and blood disorders that they knew they were going to pass on? It's a half measure at its best. If the point of the law is to elevate the resident gene pool and lower medical costs, why aren't they addressing the real issue here, the genetically defective? I think you're switching into fascism now. So was the government when it decides who can and cannot breed. And that's what's bothering you today? Society's intention versus execution? I didn't say it was bothering me, Doc. It's just what I was thinking about when you asked the question. Not that you noticed, but this is not our usual meeting. It ain't? No. I'm a week early. Did you write this stuff down anyway? 
I mean, it's pretty good banner for off the top of my head. I have a client who's extremely religious and I'm having difficulty reaching him in any meaningful way. I ain't the doc, doc. Psychosomaticism is a thing, Raul. If the mind has the power to make one ill, it has the power to make one well. I was wondering if you would do me the profound favor of meeting with them to see if you could do something. Off the record, of course. Well, I'll see what can be seen. Thanks. Terrence Meridian, attorney at law. How did you find me? The ladies at work told me you eat lunch here. You know why I come here? I can't rightly say. Quiet. It's delightfully quiet. I can appreciate that. I don't do parties. Uh, I wasn't asking what. You have a tag along. I'm gonna put a bell on that harpy's hill. I'm so sorry. I told her not to follow me to work. That's a new one. Do I ask what kind of work you do in a graveyard, or how the spirits of the dead following you there from home? Whatever you want. All I want is peace and quiet. This is the only thing I enjoy all day in your tainting. How can I help you? To be honest, I don't want your help. I came here to help you instead. I was unaware that I asked for assistance. You probably didn't, but a concerned colleague of yours did. Jeremy is as good a person as he knows how to be. Concerned over my latest outburst, is he? I don't know anything about that. But he said he couldn't help you and asked me if I may be able to help him. And do you think you're more qualified where he was so unsuitable? Don't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. He doesn't see what we do. And how much does this help cost me? Nothing. I introduced myself as a professional courtesy. Then start. All right. So how long have you been Not that. What then? As you said, fulfill your professional courtesy. Introduce yourself. Raul, pleased to meet you. I already knew that. Terrence. I already knew that. Press upon me your wares. What is it you want? Quiet. Just quiet. What's making the noise? Thoughts. Ever tried drugs or alcohol? Everywhere I go, I can't stop hearing their thoughts. The busier the mind, the louder the noise. The more minds, the louder they are. So I come to a place of death despite my own dogmas to enjoy the lack of minds, the lack of thoughts. I'm sorry, man. Know what to tell you, that's the shit. You believe me yet walk away. You're a medium, and a strong one by the sound of it, and an intuitive one on top of that. There's nothing here to cure. How do you handle it so well? Who says I do? You do. I don't do dogma like you do. I got enough actual shit running up the hillside at night to deal with without having to remember to skip meat on a Friday. Shall I renounce my faith then? I'm curious why someone who knew better actually adopted it in the first place. I like you, bro. Be candid. And medications, what about those? I'm on a mood stabilizer as we speak. And that is my hour of silence. Sorry if I muddied it up. Don't worry about it. You want to meet up again? Here? Anywhere. Sure, but I don't know exactly what I could do for you, to be honest. I'm at a breaking point. I can't keep going like this. They don't ever stop, even on drugs, even high as a kite. I can tell this isn't right. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't even make them any quieter. 
just makes me not care that I'm following the same pathway as my drug-addicted mother and brother. That's right in the family. They're on prescriptions for other reasons, some of which are recreational. I take them knowing full well that they don't help the problem, but it stops me from screaming at my asshole clients. You might want to consider that prescriptive dogmatics are as bad for the mind as any kind of stress, especially when the mind is perceptive, unless you're surrounded by some like-minded psychotics, that is. There are no sane people. Take it from me. Then what are we, if you don't mind me asking? Varying degrees of adaptable. Sure. Sure. As I said before, I'd very much like to meet with you again. Easy enough. Though it might be noisier at my place. I wanted to... Uh, I was hoping that... Mm, I'm in town tonight and part of tomorrow. Some party, a stupid meet and greet that Danny set me up for. I don't know. He apparently has a plan. I wish to God I did. Anyway, getting off my sob story... I'm going to be at the spot where I asked you to marry me. If you remember where that is, I'll be there at seven tonight. If you'd like to deign, I would love to see you again. Though I understand if that's a disagreeable proposal. I really hope I don't have to wait until I'm in the state next to see you again. Bye. What the hell am I doing? It's probably not even going to show. You're really here. Oh my God, you came. Of course I came. You look great. How are you? Are you well? Did I interrupt any plans? Please tell me I didn't. There you go, asking six questions all at once. And that is a very you response to it. Well, I'm fine. Great. As good as can be expected, I'm so happy to hear that. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. You go. I'm sorry I'm talking when you're talking. I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Unlikely.
So does this mean you don't hate me? No. No? Of course not. What are you even talking about? I don't know. We're not talking, so I'm saying things to fill the silence. Fine. I'll start talking then. You look beautiful. Thank you. In fact, uh, you picked up some new rings. Yes, I did. I particularly like this one. I wear it on most of my interviews now. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but I got it in an old antique shop that was run by this charming old couple who used to run a bed and breakfast. They didn't know much about it either, but the woman, her name is Rebecca, mm. so you know, said that her mother passed it along to her. She said her mother gave it to her when she first came back from Italy to pay for her voyage across the Atlantic. The funny thing is, is that it actually fits me. Not only in style, but it actually fits my finger very well. As if it were meant for me. I don't know why she wanted to part with it. I'm sorry, I don't know why I went off like that. It's okay. I'm a little nervous too. You were always so charmingly honest about things like that. Well, I had a hard time admitting that my socks don't match. I don't even know if I'm wearing socks. <gasps> I really missed you. I miss you too. That smell, that raw smell. I bathed. <laughs> no, not that. It's not a bad smell. It's yours. To each their own. I'm glad you grew your hair back out. It didn't fit you short. And you're looking mighty fine yourself. Mighty fine indeed. So what have you been up to? More of the same? More of, yeah, the same. Are you still searching for the truth? Well, no, actually. Really? Did you give it up? I never assumed you of all people would have. It's never about searching for proof. Did something happen? Why did you stop searching for proof? How many times do I have to say that to you? It's not about finding proof at all. Then what were you doing all those years? <sighs> Some kind of charity work? You don't have to prove something to people who already know it exists. It's people like you who need the proof because they haven't seen it. But if you did, you'd hit the door and never look back. Oh, is that what happened? Is that why you think I left? The so-called proof that you jammed down my throat every chance you got? Damn it, woman. We met at a psychic's convention. I thought you knew this stuff. But no. You just wanted to get your foot in the door so you could peddle merchandise to people who don't know anything about it either. I make your annual salary in a month, Raul. I wish you understood the power of marketing. I really do. That's why you call me out here. See what kind of proof I found in the last eight months that you could sell? An upgrade in your lifestyle has been in order for quite some time now, Raul. If you absolutely must know, no, I did not come here to try and steal your discoveries for immediate resale. I wanted to see you. Maybe have a drink, go down memory lane, and if the evening went well, invite you back to my hotel and see what happened next. And then if that went well, and you had something tangible, then I was going to help you sell it as well. You're a piece of work, you know that. You're a sucker wrapped around your little finger. Stop pouting, Raul. It's not a good look on you. I don't care. I don't have to look at me. Stupid, stupid man. Like I didn't know this was gonna happen. What is wrong with you? Why can't you just be quiet and listen more? that a difference? Honey, I'm home. Oh, this. This is a crystal I found in Mount Vesuvius and I really like it because it matches my eyes, don't you think? I use it in all my astral projections because what really matters is how cute I look when I'm doing my interviews with the dead. Fakest woman I ever knew. Get your shit together, Raul. She's not worth the grief.
Welcome back, little lady. What is this place? It's my home. Stay a while. My candle is burning out. Do you recognize it? Yes. I'd like you to have it. Cheers, Andrew. I don't know. That's not a good idea, and you know that. Let me go. I just want to go home. And I'd like to get you there, but I need to know where home is. Just let me go home. I'm not the one keeping you here, miss. Then who is? Calm down. Please come and sit. Why? Because I want to know where you live so I can get you there. Isn't that what you wanted? Yes, but I don't understand what's happening. Who are you? Why am I here? Why is it always dark? Who is the laughing woman? My name is Rollo. Don't tell me your name. I don't care about your name. Who are you? I'm your guide. My guide to where? Wherever it is that you want to go. I want to go home. Then tell me where home is. I'll take you there, I promise. Okay. Okay. where it is I'm I'm trying to visualize it and I can't remember you're overthinking this what's your name Acadia what's your last name Miller Acadia Miller Alex Miller my friends call me Acadia thanks Acadia is it okay if I call you Acadia sure thanks I'll be around Breaking into a dead woman's house. Brilliant rival. <laughs> Pretty brilliant. you smiled. Even in death? Even until we turn to dust. I'm nervous. I know. That's why I'm going to go first. I love you so, so much. What in heaven did I do in a previous life to deserve you? You are my everything. I've said my prayer. Have you? Yes, I have. I'm ready when you are. If you want to put this off, maybe until next week. No. 
I've put this off long enough. My so very brave angel. I can do anything when I'm with you. And I with you? I don't need you to go first. We can go together. Perfection. Sheer perfection. I always thought I would die alone. In a cold, tiled room, echoing melodies. Yesterday I laid my head to find the devil in my dreams. I was calling out for someone and shaking in my sleep. Oh, I was shaking in my sleep. So I hitched to a wagon and I jumped a moving train. With hitchhokers and black whiskey going through my veins, boy. A sweet memory of a loved one was coursing through my veins. Oh, it was coursing through my veins. So let it go and let it roll. This time it keeps ticking. There's another story told. A one more or four of this show. Now I can sell a broken heart. But I can't sell my soul. No, I can't sell my soul. Here we go. Well, I took to a calling that I used to scoff and laugh. What good are these fingers if not for a craft board? If you stay here long enough, you can watch a man collapse. You can watch a man collapse. Bathtub's filled with water, despite the dust implying that it was filled a long time ago. Remember to ask Katie what day she believes it to be. The man from Vision is staying in the house. I'm sure if it's Acadia's house or if he's just squatting. Look up the official owner now that I have the address. Just get it over with, you stubborn old fool. Raul, I think I can speak for both of us when I say that that did not go as I planned it. I'm at the airport right now, waiting for a plane to arrive. I wanted to hear your voice again before I left, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get that pleasure. Is it because we're such passionate people that we erupt when near each other? I always loved your fire. Not all the ways it manifested, but I did so enjoy a man with a mission. Ciao. Well, I gotta make a decision now. Do I go back or do I make contact? Oh hell. Like it's even a decision at all. Howdy there. K. 
care for a little company? Oh, uh, good evening. And yes, indeed. Outstanding. Raul Oleander. Nice to meet you. Seth Walter at your service. Pleasure's mine. Yeah, but not yours alone. What you drinking? A bittersweet Merlot. Would you like some? You have a spare glass? <laughs> I always have a spare glass. You never know who might join you at the fire. Well, sure, that'd be very nice. Not a speck off my back, Mr. Oleander, not a speck. Raoul, please. My father was Mr. Oleander. Raoul, then. So, what's a friendly fellow like you doing sitting here all alone? I come down to the water's edge to collect my thoughts and calm my nerves. The noise in town puts me on edge. The water walks me off of it. That's an interesting perspective. What you got there? The source of tonight's introspection, friend. A simple little thing that, uh, honestly, I forgot existed until somehow it ended up back in my possession. That's interesting. Good wine, by the way. Oh, thank you. Of all the things in my life that I allow to be mediocre, my merriment is not one of them. Here, here. So, what line of work are you in, Raoul? I'm a handyman of sorts, I guess. Small world, sir. Small world indeed. Mm. I, too, am a handyman of sorts. Is that so? I haven't seen you around. You from out of the area? I came from down south, actually. Started out as passing through and uh, decided to stay a while instead. Funny that. I take it by that that your story is similar. You know, I just kind of bounce from job to job, letting the work lead me. Peas in a pod. Another? Thank you. There's not much left, and I don't want to be the reason you're empty. Not a concern of mine, friend. I have another bottle. Is that so? That is so. What else you got in that bag of tricks? Just the tricks. Well, I'm into that. I feel like we've met before. I have that exact same feeling. You ever do any carpentry? I do, but not for pay and not down south. It's going to bother me until I figure it out. Well, I hate to add to tonight agitation. I just saw a man sitting alone by a fire and thought I'd say hello. Well, I'm glad you did. Tonight's uh, agitation, as it is described, has nothing to do with you. And I'm glad to have the distraction. One of my exes used to call me a carrier of aggravation. I never got aggravated myself, but everyone else around me did. What a funny observation. Clearly a bright woman. Not bright enough to avoid me. <laughs> I needed that. The levity. Not a problem. So what's your impossible dream? What's that? Your impossible dream. Everyone has one. However trite or trivial. I don't know. I haven't thought about something like that for a long time. Dreams are important, Raoul. They keep us not just alive, but living. What's your impossible dream, then? To build the utopian society this country was supposed to be. And what's that? A place where anything is possible if you work for it. Specifically, a place where nothing costs anything because it's all free. Everyone contributes their discipline, and everyone looks after everyone. Where love and companionship grows on trees, and the wine flows endlessly. Hmm. There's no dues to pay, because it's all paid forward, not back. You can pursue your heart's desire without having to look at a clock or punch a time card or have some landlord asking for his opportunistic share. So what's the problem? You're not working for it? <laughs> I walked into that one. I have my moments. But to answer your question, I am working towards my utopia. But the nature of man it runs in contrast to idealism. If I make bread and I give it to you, and you in turn make meals for your brother, who then in turn protects the village, how is that any different from you handing me $10, which I later give to my brother, for defending us? It is the very premise of the economy in which we already live. Just take out middlemen. You paint an interesting picture. I can see how it'd be a difficult sell to someone with a million dollar home to abandon the inequality they'd earn. Exactly. So I'm forced to work for the million dollar homeowner until I can continue my search for my Shangri-La. Well, it's been nice to meet you, Seth. But I gotta be going. My charm only lasts for so long. 
Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you too, Raul. I hope our paths cross again. Something tells me they will. Good evening to you, sir. Honey, I'm home. Could you get a, a hobby or something? Shit, Leonard, that's what you are. There was no burden for a change. That was very nice of you. I feel a little prayer to St. Michael coming on. You know the one. St. Michael, the arching, will protect us in battle. Be our protection against wickedness and the snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And doth thou, O oh, oh, Prince of the Heavenly House, with the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the evil spirits who prowl the world, seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. See, that wasn't so bad, you son of a bitch. Anything else to say? We'll into the bag with you.
Jacob, I heard your good feelings. What do you about me today? Grow the same, slow burn style. Always your way. They'll never even know they were robbed. Why should I let them know they got a security breach? I come and go as I please. If I had ten more like these, I'd be a made man. I'm not gonna be able to move this quickly. What's wrong with it? Silver took a shit. What's wrong with it? I, mean, I can move it, but it's not going to happen this week. I'll do what you can, of course. I'll give you two forty for the lot. Sold. Always easy. Life's hard enough as it is. Are you aware you've got a gremlin on the premises? Oh yeah. Yeah. I hadn't noticed. Where'd you get this little guy? You know I never tell. Anybody I know? Probably not. New guy. New guy? Since when are you doing business with new guys? My son's applying for college, man. I need to move more for the time being. If it didn't bother you, I can leave it. Otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Contract rates apply. It's probably made of something valuable. But it probably needs to be destroyed. I got it in batch. I won't miss it. Something. Innocent feeling. Innocent doesn't sound so bad. Did you ever dream you walked into a classroom naked? Children pulling their legs off still living bugs. Innocence can be very warped. Just in a different direction. Fine, fine. Do what you have to. I'll recover what I can and get it back to you. Like I said, no rush. Thank you, sir. How the wife and kids? Wanna go grab a drink? They're perfectly not there. And thanks for the offer. I've got a date with a little green fairy. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, that's an idea. Have you come up with anything? Excuse me, Terrence? Yes, this is Terrence. How did you know it was me? I'm psychic. 
Oh, I don't, it, it don't work that way. I'm joking. Caller ID. How do you come up with anything? Come up with what? The solution to my dilemma that you were supposed to be working on. There's no cure for death. Get over it. Oh, by the way, while I've got you on the line, what's the penalty for squatting in the state of California these days? I'm not that kind of lawyer. One of the dead girls involved. I'm twice as not that kind of lawyer. I just want to get someone who's staying somewhere illegally out so I can perform the last rites. Google says it's six months. Make it anonymous, non-emergency, call to the police, and they'll take it from there. And I didn't recommend that to you. Thanks a bunch. Oh, he may have already been scared away. Then drive by his house and see if he's there. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if he's squatting at all. Okay. What's his name? What are you doing tomorrow? Winterland, tell me all your secrets. Fill me in on your wildest moment. Have you confirmed that she's even dead? She's linked to this. She wouldn't be dead if she wasn't. So, no, you haven't. I don't have to see a dog when I step in its shit to know that it's around. What? She's intellectual, not residual. Are we about to find a dead body? Why do you ask that? And Alexis Miller is not listed at this address as deceased or even missing. If you're right, then her body hasn't been discovered and we're about to walk in on it. Is that gonna be a problem? I had no issue with death or dead bodies. But that being said, I discover a body in a murder scene. I'm obligated to report that. Then, I need to figure out why I was there when I found it. Just tell the truth. Tell them your psychic ability brought you there. Or a verifiable lunatic brought me here. I even get Section 8 housing. I love that you're proud of that, by the way. Yeah, what else did you find out? She had behavioral issues in public, long arrest record, substance abuse, no known close friends. Her parents left her a nest egg last year, and. She's been out of the police logs ever since. The house in front of us is a part of that nest egg. Mental health issues, prescriptions that she keeps failing to fill. What about Seth? Uh, Seth, as far as I can tell, doesn't do social media. There's no provable income, no job history, no bank account, and no credit score. Sounds like me. You have a credit score, and a bad one. I'm guessing you had all that, but just gave you a fake name. He's a clever bastard. The only reference I could find to was Seth anywhere is a single post made on Facebook, which was made about four months ago, which is the only reason I have to believe this person exists at all. Your friend is here again. Just ignoring she won't follow you home. She's a clingy little bitch like that. Is that real? I took her in half out of morbid curiosity, half out of sympathy for the haunting, and half just because I needed some female energy in the house. That's three halves. Now you get it. What am I supposed to be getting? How do you know he isn't here? His car wasn't parked out front. How did you know the door wasn't locked? I didn't lock it the last time. Excuse me? Well, come on. Squatting in a dead woman's house. He's gonna leave this place locked up tighter than a jug. Any chance that he can get. Or maybe he's like you and likes the easy coming and going through an entrance that doesn't face the street. It was locked the first time. Did you see that? See what? Alexis just walked into that room. I missed it, sorry. No. She came from over there and went into there. You didn't see that? I'm not set up yet. Understood. You go ahead and set up then. I'm gonna go look at something. Mikasa is su casa. My brave, brave angel, 
What could I possibly do to help you that you could not do on your own? I'm having a panic attack. I need you to hold me. Please. Of course. I could never deny your affection. Is this the right thing? Is this the right time? You think so, right? This place, this world, these people, we do not belong to them. He's doing nothing but causing such pain, such immeasurable pain. I don't feel like I normally do when I take my medication. This isn't right. Something's wrong. I can feel something's wrong. It's the same anti-anxiety medication you always take. I can get you another pill if you like. Yes. Yes. I want that very much. It isn't working. I'm getting it right now. You brought two. Thank you. Of course. Now be careful now and wash it down with some water. Job well done. Please hold me. Of course. Don't let me go. You have nothing to fear. Why couldn't we be more like them? Why couldn't they be more like us is what you need to ask. I just wanted to fit in. I couldn't ever just fit in. You are marvelous. They are twisted. They didn't deserve you. I miss my father. He always knew how to explain things so they made sense. He'd speak in that tone of his and tell me that I could get in my own head if I wanted to. Blah, 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 and let me tell you why it won't fix the problem. Do you love me? Unquestionably. Prove it to me. How does one prove such a complex emotion as love? I don't care. Just prove it to me. Shall I get the serum right now? If I died for you, would that satisfy you? Yes. Get it now. As you command. Is that it? Enough to sedate Rhode Island. No. I can do it. I have no doubts. I'm just merely trying to help. Drink it. Just like that? Yes. Just like that. For my love of you do I do this. I'll see you soon. What else did you find? Not sure yet. Checking things out.
What do you mean? Is there anything I can do? Can you get me another pill? Of course. Enough to sedate Rhode Island. No, don't. I can do it. I have no doubts. I'm just merely trying to help. Drink it. Just like that? Yes. Just like that. For my love of you, do I do this? I'll see you soon. Oh my god. This is real. As real as I stand before you. You just drink it. You just... You just fucking drink it. As you asked me to to prove my devotion to this process. Why is this hitting me so hard? Do you love me? Yes. Well then, drink the serum as you said you would. We need to call an ambulance. We need to get you to a hospital. This is where you asked us to be. Past the point of no return. My love for you proven. Will you leave me to die alone? No, I don't want us, I don't want us to die at all. Then I'll have the antidote. What? The antidote. Do you want it? Yes. Yes, give it to me. You're not making sense now. Help me. I need the antidote. Here it is. <laughs> Open up. Open up. Here we go. <laughs> I can't see you. Where are you, Brad? Are you here, baby? Hello? Can you come to me, Alexis? Hello? Hello, baby? Brad, are you there? 
Brad. You're not here anymore. At last. Are you calling 911, Brad? I think it could have lasted a long time. You and I. I need you, Brad. I was, I was scared. Why did you have to be so damn naive? Even a blind man could have seen through me. I can't, I can't see it. What's the most humane thing to do at this point, I wonder? Let you die alone? Or make you realize I'm not dying with you by comforting you? I can't breathe. Help me. I think I'll stay on this side of the room. Less DNA on the body when they find you. And they always find you. Lost in your thoughts You must have gone so far away What else should I've done to make you stay? Broken pieces on the floor Painful words Goodbye, you Alexis. drunk away what else should I've done to make you pay? How we went so wrong He poisoned her in here and she died in there. Happy? I'm leaving now. So, where's the body? She wasn't conscious when she died. I don't know. I'm starving. Grab a bite. You're hungry? Starving, actually. It's my treat. He murdered her, Raul. He drugged her until she didn't know where she even was and forced a bunch of muscle relaxers down her throat. Yeah, I know. You know. She told me. She told you? Yeah. I heard her calling something different when she was calling out for him to save her, too. Well, to be fair, she admitted that she started it. She started it. There's no reason for her to lie to me. I'm sorry. But how are you so goddamn calm? I just watched a murder. I'm fighting to stop myself from throwing up. And you want food. You want to help me now? Help you what? Get it to the son of a bitch. I I'm sorry. I have to go. I can't think clearly right now. I'll be in touch. Welcome to the clan, Terrence Meridian. You left the pictures on the wall to make me pay. Jeremy Lightning! Come on in, you old son of a bitch! The weather's fine! Come on down! Thank you. Been a month already? Two weeks. It's always two weeks. Where in the world do I get a month? I don't know. We've never met monthly. 
blackmail, whatever. Come on in, stay a while, have a seat. Thanks. So, how are your friends? Is this how we're gonna begin? What do you mean? The court threw out my observations on human suffering because I'm not a psychiatrist. Now, a psychiatrist is asking my opinion on how people are getting along. What's up with that, Doc? Have you seen her since my last visit? I know what you want to hear. So I should just tell you so we can get along with whatever we're getting on with. You saying that makes whatever else you say seem less credible. <laughs> Funny. Wasn't my lack of credibility the reason why they're doing the song and dance that we're doing? Let's be less emotional and more constructive, shall we? Less emotional. Less emotional. Now I know you have no idea what you're talking about. How's that? This list distance between the two, then you acknowledge. Probably, but an emotionally constructed update of a Section 8 court-ordered report is not beneficial to anyone, especially you. You want a drink? No, thanks. May we? That's right. You don't drink anymore because of that thing. Excuse me, what thing? You know, that thing you don't believe in. Oh, more of this. Here. Please fill this out. And for the record, I never drank. Not that we can prove anyway, right, Doc? Excuse me? Nothing. Just writing that report of yours about that old kook who made mention of shadows that go bump in the night before raving about a car accident that never happened. This is the second time in our meetings that you've mentioned a car accident. A car accident that never happened. Precisely. What is your aim in that? I'm trying to get you to use more than one side of your brain. Realize that the world you live in is not that different than the world I live in, despite your scientific fluency. And how is a car accident that doesn't exist going to make that happen? Hiding behind the excuse of adolescence and the lack of legal conviction doesn't make it not a thing just because it didn't appear in the courtroom. I'm going to refill your medication. How are you sleeping? Just fine. And your friend? I live alone. That's not what I asked. Isn't it? Raul. Just fine. We're all just fine. And putting you back on Seroquel should also help you sleep. Sounds like you made up your mind even before you asked the question. And if you're planning on not taking your medications, at least have them filled for my sake. Yes, sir. See you in two weeks. See you then. Lunatic. He's just a lunatic. Lunatic. You don't really like him much, do you? Mr. Meridian. What do we do now? In terms of what? How do we nail him to the wall? I was gonna ask you about that, actually. This guy's in our backyard. Something else that doesn't help me sleep? Do we want to nail him to the wall, or do we just want him gone? If we just want him gone, we just call the cops on him over and over until the guy gets a little spooked and leaves on his own. I want him behind bars. We just can't leave an anonymous tip to the police unless he's left evidence behind. Understood. Let me see what I can find with the new name. This guy has got to be in file somewhere. This guy is going down. Ooh, I like the zeal. Maintain it. I'll call you when I have something. Ciao. Yes, dear.